hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today we are going to share with you what we can do with stripe connect so if you do not know stripe connect i would like to explain a little bit of it stripe connect is actually a marketplace so when we developers actually create a marketplace we often want that the payout to the vendors of that marketplace go out so if you hold amazon the persons who are selling goods on amazon should be getting their payments right so sometimes this payout is going to be manual for a small firm but for a bigger one it's going to be automated so that's automation is coming with stripe connect actually so this is a very useful features for a big marketplace and today we are going to show how we can integrate it into our systems this is relatively very easy to integrate actually if you know the system very well so i am not going to talk about stripe itself uh, or uh, how to get payment with the stripe because that is something a different topic and that this is much more advanced topic on the stripe connect is actually so if you do not have that knowledge then i would suggest you to get that knowledge first and then come to this tutorial to see it okay so i have created one account and that is not verified obviously uh, and verification process in india is very tough so uh, this required a lot of complications so i am not verified here so um, this is the stripe connect portal so first we are going to see this how we can do this manually actually so if you are into the panel and your account is fully verified you can go and create one in the connect section and you can create any of this uh, standard connection and continue so if you copy and give this link to your vendor vendor will copy and paste this link and once he pastes this link he will be able to register into a system once he is able to register with the stripe connect his id will be created just like this one so i have created this ip id with the um, actually the code so it will be automatically get created if you follow that link but we will show it how we can do it with the code because no one is going to create this in a big portal like this way okay in the big e-commerce or b2b platforms okay so this is first so let's go and jump into the code uh, and see what we are doing here the first thing is that if you go simple pay this is how simple stripe uh, stripe works exactly you go and give the payment but when you're giving the payment you have to create the account of the seller as well so when a seller is registering in your platform he has to get passes with the stripe connect as well for that stripe has a process in the web and we can go and see that process in our code so as you can see this is the code that gives actually the account creation once the account is created you can see the standard i am passing away just like the same thing is happening here in the gui interface actually express standard and custom express standard and custom okay so this is how you can create the account once you create the account you generate the link by this one and uh, sorry to have that uh, i cannot generate the link because my account is not verified if your account is verified then only your code will run and this will create something output like this so once created when the seller is registering into a system once created this link for this seller you can put give that link to the seller pass it to the link or redirect them to this link once he verified this link he will return back to the successful or return url here the url you are passing and what is refresh url refresh url is something when the links expire if the link is too old it will go to this url refresh url so these are the two sections now once this account has been created it is relatively very easy so this is a normal code to stripe payout just item price id quantity mode success cancel it's absolutely very simple to create this now look at this code here okay this is the same code but it says the payment intent data application fees amount and transfer id this is the two things that get a difference with this one 
So while I'm taking the payment of 1000 rupees, I have to give him suppose 200 rupees. And once I give him 200 rupees, I just give his account that has been created over here. Just like that. And the payment will be done. So when it comes to, I will, I will create this ID and store it into a seller account with the, uh, with relation to the seller. So when the payment will come, I will click of a button. I can go and give the, all the payments to the seller or in the, even in the transaction right away when somebody is purchasing from my website, I'm directly giving that to the seller. So this is how you can use Stripe Connect. This is a very useful thing for B2B platform and marketplace. I hope this tutorial help you a lot in your actual development work. Thank you for watching for videos. Uh, if you like my channel, do subscribe to my channel and I will be sharing the link and on the description. Thank you so much.